Good day, YouTube. Today I'm just doing a bit of a comparison video between Ubuntu 21.10 on the left and uh, Ubuntu Budgie Edition 21.10 on the right. So just comparing the basics, getting a bit of a look and feel for all what's going on here. So we'll learn up some of the stats, some of the basics to begin with there. And we can see, see, telling the truth, Ubuntu 21.10, Ubuntu Budgie, Budgie Edition 21.10 on the right. So these are both uh, point releases. They're not the long-term release. It's just the latest and greatest for what Ubuntu has to offer. So Ubuntu Budgie, based on Ubuntu, and Ubuntu based on Debian, and you know we go back from there basically. But um, the the desktop environments, they're probably this is probably the biggest difference between these two uh, operating systems here. So one is actually running the GNOME desktop environment. So this will be the uh, Ubuntu. So using the the default GNOME, GNOME point three, GNOME point four. In fact, GNOME point four or forty these days it's called. Wow, it's really jumping up there. And and uh, on the right hand side, Budgie, so the desktop environment itself is actually the uh, so the, the in-house sort of a, the, the Budgie desktop environment there. So you've got this little uh, dock or plank there, it's called uh, Plank, there we go. So very uh, Mac OS-esque on the left, whereas on the right a little bit more uh, Windows uh, 10, in fact, uh, esque there, there. But uh, this can actually be moved to the bottom too for Ubuntu. Let's uh, maybe just load up a few things, but I won't go on too much of a tangent with this video. Let's see, let's make a bottom. Yeah, great, there we go. But I'm gonna keep everything default for future videos, so let's just go back, back to the left there. Okay, so what else have we got? Uh, let's have a look at the uh, the file managers there. So these should be roughly the same because they are in fact uh, based on the same thing. But uh, let's see, one of them calls files. The other one probably is called Nemo, I believe it was. Yeah, there we go. So much of a muchness. They have the same basic sort of functionality. They're cool looking color tones or accents there. I like all the dark modes, so that's that's nice enough there. Just fully functional and easy to use. Uh, the kernels you'll expect to be the same because they are the latest release of Ubuntu. So, um, in fact, exactly, exactly the same. There we go. But let's have a look at, just a quick look at the CPU and RAM utilization. So this is where it always gets a bit fun for me. So the CPU is mostly idling out on both accounts. Uh, maybe a little bit less RAM on boot up. So these are just booted up from scratch. As you'll see, there's nothing really uh, loaded in the background except for the operating systems itself. And we have about 660 megabytes of RAM on boot up for Ubuntu, whereas we have 690 megabytes of RAM, roughly. Now, this is, this is, this is really close figures. Uh, they can fluctuate. Maybe there's something running in the background that we're not aware of for the, the budgie side of things. But it is much of a muchness, which is good to see. So you could run it on the same hardware, long story short. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.